And welcome to the latest anime and manga news for the week ending. This is February 16th, 2018. Also including a few notes from the week before, because I was out that week. Starting with news of a new anime announced. Uh, announced a little bit further, but uh, got some more information now. New anime series called Magical Girl Sight, which is an adaptation of a manga. Um, it will be coming out, do we have a name? The 12 episode anime series um, will premiere in April, so coming up next anime season, and I believe I have a clip that I wanted to show, um, and we will see if we can't get that to work. As I was mentioning, Magical Girl Sight looks like it is more of a Madoka Magica kind of a concept in terms of being a Magical Girl series with a very dark feel to it. Uh, so we'll see what that is going to be. Uh, it should be coming up uh, pretty soon. Uh, like I said, in, in April it'll be premiering on the Animeism block, um, but also Amazon Prime Video will be carrying it um, inside and outside of Japan. So if you have Amazon Prime Video, you should be able to watch this. 12-episode um, series directed by Tadahito Matsubayashi of Tokyo Ghoul Pinto, directing this at production Doa. So, good news there. More anime. Yay. Moving on to what must be a lighter anime series, It's My Life. This is a uh, series interesting because it was crowdfunded, or it's being crowdfunded. There is a crowdfunding project to get a three-minute uh, anime video plus ending, and the crowdfunding is still ongoing. Plenty more money coming, uh, or, or potential to come in, because we still have about 77 days remaining as of, that was as of, well, about a, as of about a week ago. So, still has about two months to go on that, and further stretch goals for more and more video content. Um, but that's a very, very cool thing. Um, and I'll show you a promo video here in a moment. It is being directed by Hisayoshi Hirasawa of Miss Bernard Said. Um, and Oji san to Marshmallow at Studio Creators in Pack, who worked on Levels Like a Cocktail, Kitaro's Yokai Picture Diary, and Miss Bernard Said. So uh, they do a lot of these, you know, short ONA style anime series. Uh, it is about a a guy who's retiring from his job as a knight. Finally, gets a house, gonna retire early to his quiet domestic life, and then this uh, young witch crash lands. Uh, into his home, and uh, he ends up taking her on as like a servant. So let's watch a bit of that. Oh. Uh, so as you can see, cute, fun anime series, It's My Life there. Um, as I may have mentioned, it is being directed by Hisayoshi, Hisayoshi Hirasawa, of uh, Miss Bernard said, and Oji Santo Marshmallow. Um, and uh, he is directing at, uh, who is directing at Creators and Pack, the studio behind Love is Like a Cocktail and Miss Bernard said. So, an ONA uh, anime studio. Uh, they certainly know how to do these things. Not clear yet what form this is going to take. OVA. Short film, series, no idea. Um, it might just be a single little short film, who knows. But more anime, good thing. All right, let's actually move on here. This is going to be a very edited down uh, thing when we actually get to it. So Crunchyroll did recently an interview with The Hollywood Reporter where they said that they've contributed over a hundred million US dollars to the Japanese anime industry. So in terms of all their licensing fees over the last decade or so that they have been legit, they have 
sent that much over to the anime industry. I'm sure that also counts the co-productions they're doing with the anime industry. So they co-produce shows like A Place Further Than the Universe and Citrus and How to Keep a Mummy and Laid Back Camp and stuff like that. So certainly they're very involved. Um, but yeah, a lot of money flowing over there to the anime industry through Crunchyroll, which is a, a good thing. Um, as of February of last year, um, they, re they have more than a million subscribers, and we know there are more than 20 million registered users on the site. So definitely big, still big, still a, a huge thing in the industry. All right, uh, moving on, um, not, a bit of licensing news. The Persona 5 anime has been licensed by Anaplex USA, certainly one of the bigger anime-themed games of the past year. Um, got an anime series, and so it has been licensed. Um, streaming details will be coming soon. Uh, no other news there. Uh, there is a, an English sub trailer up on Anaplex of America's site, if you want to check that out. Um, it'll premiere in April. Uh, on Tokyo MX, Gunma TV, and other channels. Um, the voice cast members from the game are reprising their roles in the anime series. So if you like the, the game, you'll definitely get that stuff in the, in the anime series. Uh, directed by Masashi Ishihama, who worked on From the New World and Kami 2. Uh, directing there um, with the... Uh, let's see here. Um, with some adaptation of the character designs, obviously. Um, do 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 And the... Writer on High Tech the Combat Butler, Skep Dance, and Persona 5 the Animation the Day Breakers uh, will also be uh, in charge of the series scripts. So, good news there. And the same composer from the game on the anime series. So, the upcoming Persona 5 anime, licensed by Aniplex. Um, And we will see where that will end up. Um, moving on to some news about the live action Sword Art Online project. Um, a series has, the series has been sold to Netflix, and they were very, very, very clear that they're going to cast Asian actors as Kirito and Asuna. And it's kind of funny, because there's this big thing by the, um, series writer and executive producer, Laita Kelogridis, I apologize if I'm messing up that name, uh, work on alter, Altered Carbon, um, uh, you know, there's a long thing about how this is a very Japanese product project, very Japanese project, and we're not going to do the thing that they did in Ghost in the Shell, and we're, you know, we're not going to whitewash it, and they're going to be Asian actors. They didn't say Japanese actors, but they make this big deal about them being Japanese, but they, they very clearly say Asian actors. So we'll see where that ends up, but it's, it's a little odd of a statement, like if you're going to be really big about, you know, ethnicity... Hmm. Uh, they said, now, obviously, other characters in the show are not all Japanese. They're from different parts of the world, so they'll be cast appropriately to um, their potential, you know, region. So that's, you know, that's fine. But uh, it's kind of, an, kind of an odd mixed message there in, in that story. So who knows where that's going on. But it's sold to Netflix, which is good on that. So who knows where that'll end up, but, um, um, you know, hey, at least, at least more news on that. Moving on to some um, uh, slightly more somber news, uh, we now know that Aya Hisakawa will be taking over the role of Bulma in Dragon Ball Super after uh, Hiromi Tsuru, the previous role, uh, the previous voice actor behind the role, passed away, and uh, she's already recorded uh, the dialogue for the 128th episode of Dragon Ball Super, and they have already uh, announced, Toei Animation's already announced that they plan on using Aya Hisakawa in the future for Bulma, not just for Dragon Ball Super. So, the torch has been passed on to Aya Hisakawa. Also, finally, um, also sad news, um, Hiroki Takagi, famous animator, has uh, passed away suddenly. Um, uh, he uh, had the flu and apparently um, lost consciousness while taking a bath and passed away. Legendary animator worked on Creamy Mommy, Project Eiko, Meizone Koku, Akira, Evangelion, My Dear Marie, uh, Dominion Tank Police, Kimigori Orange Road, Bleach, Big Order, and he was working on Space Battleship Yamato 2199. I mean, he, he was still working as an animator when he passed away uh, uh, just just this uh, in the past couple weeks. So, sad to hear. Um, uh, passed away in February 2nd, so about two weeks ago. 
Um, so yes, sad news. Um, and I hope he is living it up with other animators up there in animator heaven, uh, not having to, to draw constantly. So anyway, uh, that's all the news for this week, in the past two weeks indeed. Thank you all for joining me. And uh, we will have more news for you next week.